Hi, happy Monday? More like happy Sunday, cause I'm taking this show to the chapel, baby. The devil has an interesting way of getting a hold on your life. Style, clothing, the devil's cloth. He grips your chest by the use of his cotton. Mouth, peace forged by the fire a hundred feet under. God, he will punish death by thunder. Struck down till I wonder, how did I sin? I sang all the songs, the hymns and the words, the bees and the birds. Yet Lil Nas X, his music comes first. What you just heard was the word of the Lord. And no, not from the Bible, no, 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 but from the heart. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, Lil Nas X released his music video for his new song, Montero. Shut up! Stop! <coughs> the video is a depiction of Lil Nas X taking ownership over the countless years that Christians would tell him that he would go to hell because he was gay. In the video, he would pole dance down to hell, give Satan a lap dance before killing him and taking the throne. And it was awesome! The visuals were amazing, I just love the absurdity of it all, and it's just a really amazing watch. But as with any new and exciting piece of pop culture, someone's gotta get angry. Right? And it turns out that the people who got angry are the exact same people who gave the inspiration for the video in the first place. Conservative Christians who believe you will burn for eternity because you naturally want to have sex with men? <laughs> Guys, let's loosen up here. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. We may have had hundreds of sexual abuse allegations against Catholic priests just in the month of February, but Lil Nas X gives Satan a lap dance, sells some sick ass sneakers, and then Christians have a temper tantrum over it. Oh yeah, he collaborated with this company that makes custom Nike sneakers, and he made these awesome shoes, and then people were upset about that? That's so epic. Anyways, during this beautiful Sunday service, I say we just jump in some fun little reactions to people being upset about the Montero video and see why they find this imagery so disturbing. Ah! Okay, so the first video I want to watch is one that you may have seen online. It's very quick, only about 25 seconds, but I think it's a great one to just start off with out of the gates. I didn't know who little Nash X was. Little thug, whoever, I, know, I, I had no idea who he was. We was riding this morning, Hudson said, well, you know who, what made him famous? First of all, this is... That's not my video that's doing that, by the way. But apparently this church likes to take their online media in form of a PowerPoint presentation, so just deal with that for now, I guess. Famous, I said, well, he's, you know, he was at Horses, so got my horses and whatever that song. I was like, man, that song got a cool beat. I'll never be able to listen to it again. Bunch of devil worshiping wicked nonsense, pentagram wearing on your Nike tennis shoe 666. You think I'm gonna stand for that? You've lost your mind. You tell little Nash X I said so. Bunch of Satanism, bunch of wickedness, bunch of devilism, bunch of demonism, bunch of psychotic wickedness. Dude, how does he talk so fast? I thought I talked fast. He doesn't finish his sentence before he starts the next one. He's just like, what? Do, how do I even, I can't even cut in to say anything. But the people are eating it up though. Who little Nash X was. Little Nash X. Well, you know who, what made him famous? I said, well, he's, you know, he was at horses. So got my horses and whatever that song. Let's just move right along. This one is called A Christian's Response to Lil Nas X. So, start off the video saying, um, I... Yeah, you know you can cut it out, right? <laughs> Yola, Yola, Yola Marge. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong is. if you see this, but I just watched her video about Lil Nas X, and I watched Yola's video and just, like... Bro, what is she upset about? <laughs> it was so good. You guys got to go watch it. Um, I'm going to put her. I thought when she started it that she was going to... I don't know who Yola is, but I thought it was going to be someone who went against what she was saying because she was on the verge of tears and then she was like... <sighs> the video was really great. You guys should go check it out. I have no idea what's going on. Let's see what she's so upset about. And so I just want to jump in on this train to pray for him. And I really apologize for being so emotional because... I am so, I'm just feeling an intense amount of grief. Um, grief over what? Did someone die? What are we talking, what are we, what are we grieving over? I'd like to know because I don't want to be disrespectful. All of the evil and darkness that we're seeing all over. And we know that we evil knew and darkness, man. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the devil just crawled out of me for a second there. Really, are we just being reactive and placing judgment? I'd and, say uh, so, yeah. 
So it seems giving like giving Satan publicity and not actually interceding. That's what you're doing right now. You're reacting to it, huh? Interceding on Christ's behalf, on our Father's behalf for his children who are being deceived by Satan. Are we really choosing not to intercede for God's children who have clearly been hurt and many times hurt and scarred by the church? Oh, now she's getting woke. She's talking about hurt and scarred by the church. She's talking about the priests and stuff probably, right? Yola's video is so powerful, so I don't know who Yola is. And um, the church needs to be responding to this differently. I talked way too long. I really wanted to just post this because I want to pray for Lil Nas. And I encourage everyone to be praying for him. So let's pray for Lil Nas right now. Father God, thank you for this time. Let my words represent your heart. Your heart and your love for Lil Nas. Father God, I pray that you would meet him at his needs. That you would bring healing to the scarred parts of his heart. All of the places that have been hurt. What is she taught? What is she ups- I can't Father tell. God, you see everything that has happened to this man. And you have compassion for them, God. And I pray that he would see the love and the mercy and the compassion the and love. the grace that abounds in you god it always annoys me when like people want to say something that they know is going to get bad backlash from people so they're so vague about what it is i was con- i kept going back and forth i was like am i reacting to someone who supports him she would say she supports him but she's really just upset because he's gay because people like this are the whole reason that he made the video in the first place because they're acting like he's committing a sin when he just wants to get a little bit of that schlong <laughs> Let's get past this prayer. I feel weird. On this and to intercede for Lil Nas and that you would use this hashtag. What's the hashtag? We need to be interceding for all of the lost. What's the hashtag though? This is souls that we are talking about, you guys. No, oh, yeah, I agree. We got to set our pride and let's ego hit, aside. Let's hit that no hashtag. No matter how much people hurt us, no matter how much wrong they do to us. Yes. Or God, we need to be interceding True. for them. So let's hit and that we hashtag. And need to be fighting for their salvation. Yo, chill, bro. This is eternity we are talking about. It's a long con. Okay, yeah, so Speak let's get that hashtag. Up. Pray for them. Yep. I agree. So what's the hashtag? Feel free to share. And like I said, please go check out Yola's video. I don't want to watch your video. Sorry. God bless you. What's the hashtag though? There's this guy that just makes me so mad. His name's Matt Walsh. Conservative Matt Walsh. Sorry. You have to say you're a conservative before. Hey guys, let's start titling my videos. Leftist. Nick is not green. Reacts to Christians who are bawling their eyes out because... A gay man gave Satan a lap dance. You may remember Lil Nas X. He's the guy who made Old Town Road, which is a quote unquote country song that sounds a lot like the rough draft of a real country song that somebody wrote in 92 seconds on the back of a paper plate when they were sleep deprived and drunk. What I'm trying to say is that the song sucks (laughs) and has always sucked. And I tried to warn people about this when it first came out, but you all wouldn't listen to me. What does that even mean? I tried to warn people about it. Wait, what are you warning them about? Guys, guys, please. Everyone needs to know about this. Listen to me. The song is gonna get popular because it's it's a fun song. It's a fun song to listen to. It's gonna get popular. You guys are gonna listen. Lil Nas X, rich and famous as a musician, despite his near total lack of musical talent, despite the fact that he clearly has nothing at all to say or offer whatsoever. Nothing at all to say or offer whatsoever. I feel like he has more to say and offer whatsoever than conservative Matt Walsh and myself, we're just talking about things. He's actually making something. And at least I'm like young and hot and sexy. Matt Walsh is a old white guy with a receding hairline who complains about fun music. Anyways, he keeps trying to talk about why it's bad, even though he doesn't make music of his own, but he just makes a lot of videos trashing on other people's music without saying what kind of music he likes or making any music of his own. I think it's fine to critique something if you're not a part of that industry. I think you can review video games without needing to develop them. I think you can review music without having to be a musician. But if you're not gonna actually praise any music you like, how are we supposed to know what the baseline for what good music is? 
conservative Matt Walsh. Like, they, they've been doing this for decades. <laughs> Speak! Sorry, that was ableist. That was messed up. And this really is. It, it's, this looks like they wrote a bunch of random, edgy words and concepts onto, a, onto, onto some strips of paper and drew a handful randomly and made it into a music video. It's just Matt Walsh proving that he has no idea what the underlying message of the video is. He just thinks that they just picked random visual elements and there's no story or or any anything underneath that at all. Even the Satan shoe that he's putting out that's gotten a lot of attention with human blood in the soul, the way it's designed, it makes it look like something that the goth kids in my high school made themselves at home. No, the way it looks is freaking sick. How do you look at this and, and think it's lame? If you want to say that it's sacrilegious or whatever, go ahead. But you can't say that it's not cool. We're just missing the fishnet stockings. He thinks he's so funny. Matt Walsh, you're not a comedian or a good political commentator. This dude is trying desperately to shock and offend us. It's so funny when people are like, you guys, he's just doing it to shock and offend people. That's the only thing. He knows he's going to get views. It's like, yeah, and you fell for it, you dummy. You freaking fell for it. You're talking about it. You made a seven minute video about it. I'm not offended though, guys. It's just... No, no, it's just derivative. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it off by saying that I think it's derivative and unoriginal. Next up on the docket, this is a little guy named Bold Faith Productions. What's going on, guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk a little- Nope. Sorry. I cannot in good faith- Oh, sorry, no. I cannot in bold faith accept the opinion of a man who shoots his videos with his bed not made in the background a box fan sitting on a stool and wearing a Nike white tee? My man, how do you expect me to trust what you're trying to say? The Lil Nas X satanic thing that's going on recently, really leaning heavy into the whole Satan thing. God, a lot of the time, tips his hand as to what he's gonna do. Whenever he does something big, it's always prophecy in the Bible. So, obviously, when Jesus came... There was yes, whenever God does something big, it's always prophecy in the Bible. You guys know the verse. Thessalonians 3.13. COVID-19 is gonna kill a lot of people. <laughs> it's gonna be a real... It's gonna suck. It's gonna be a real bad time. Deuteronomy... 724. Nick is not green will be the world's most famous YouTuber in April 2021. Amassing a following like no one has ever seen. And he's got a fat ass. There was a lot of stuff in the Old Testament that pointed to it. And I believe that Satan kind of has to play by the same rules that God plays by. So when you have bills and things being introduced that just so happen to be labeled 6666666. Do you really think that the Almighty Father, Omnipresent, God Himself, has to follow by rules? Would I be wrong in saying that God can do whatever he wants? He doesn't, he's not gonna be like, oh, I really wanna make this thing happen. Oh, crap. I forgot to put it in that book that I made all these people write thousands of years ago. The duh. We only have nine numbers. We have nine numbers and one ninth of those numbers. You can't say a bunch of times in the row without needing to wash out your mouth. It's still shocking, even still, just how satanic things blatantly are and yet the world embraces it and just kind of acts like it's just completely normal no you know what isn't completely normal people telling gay people that they should go to hell and because it's so abnormal things like this have to happen where we make shocking content for pop culture to tell people why it's so wrong. I haven't listened to The Weeknd's music in Love a really long weekend. time because I remember seeing back in one of his music videos that he had an upside down cross, actually lots of upside down crosses. So I pretty quickly decided not to listen to The Weeknd. Dude, that's messed up. The Weeknd, Abel, more like Abel and Cain. Cause that's downright biblical, man. Biblically awesome. Maybe. A lot of people in the music industry right now are just blatantly Satan worshipers. I'm gonna just start putting text over things that I say. Pee pee poo poo pee. Poo pee 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 poo pee 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 poo. <laughs> They're not Satan worshipers. That's not even a thing. If Satan can't exist without God existing, why would people worship Satan if they also believed in God existing? 
just to be edgy. I'm sure there are a few people who would do that, to be honest. But let's take this further and talk about what Satanism actually is, because a lot of people don't really know. Satanism was created by atheists, and it was just created as an ideological opponent against Christianity rather than its own self-identity and like worshiping an actual devil. If I'm not mistaken, Satanism is used a lot to shed some light on the advantages that religious organizations get over normal ones just because of the fact that they're deemed religious. But when Satanism tries to exist and be its own religious group, it doesn't count because it's not holy and it goes against what Christians believe, even though it's a completely different ideological group. Now, Lil Nas X, I already knew that he was kind of a little bit off the deep end. The Bible is clear on its state. What does this mean, obviously? Is it because he's wearing pink? And he has a cool fit on at an award show where people normally wear cool outfits. Isn't there some verse? Yo, drop some drop some Bible verses in the comments below. Isn't there some verse that talks about how as a Christian, you shouldn't try to judge how Christian other people are or judge their character before judging your own? It's not very bold faith of you. The Bible is clear on its stance about homosexuality. It's very clearly against it. It calls homosexuality an abomination. So I already was a little bit cautious about Lil Nas X. How Bro, you don't need to tell us that you're not a homosexual. I could tell by looking at your background, big dog. I already was a little bit cautious about Lil Nas X. However, the events as of recently dude, what is there to be cautious about a dude that just wants some that just wants some action with the boys it involves him basically doing a pole dance and a lap dance and seducing satan um oh god did i just say what i think i said this is messed up guys this is messed up oh no i've had a long-standing theory that a lot of musical artists make deals with the devil literal deals with the devil this is not like a euphemism or an expression it's true once i became like a huge like youtuber susan would would jesky called me into our office if you don't know i live at youtube headquarters so she's just down the hall actually and i walk in the room and the freaking devil is sitting there it was honestly an honor to meet him. He was a great guy, but yeah, we made an awesome deal. But yeah, once you get big, that kind of stuff, it comes around often. That's no, that's not really a secret or a theory or anything. It's just, uh, honestly, it's just business at the end of the day. I genuinely believe that a lot of the people that have a ton of power in today's society are people that have genuinely made deals with the devil. I remember reading something on the weekend that was very similar to that, that he had made some sort of satanic deal. Um, I haven't done a ton of research on that recently, though I remember at the time doing a lot of research on that. Oh, link to that article in the description. Did The Weeknd sell his soul to the devil for fame? An in-depth investigation. Everybody loves The Weeknd. You love The Weeknd? I love The Weeknd. Even suburban moms love The Weeknd, but that's because they've only ever heard edited radio songs. Okay, so they just talk about a bunch of music videos and how there's all these different symbolic images that allude to the fact that he could have been possessed by the devil do people understand that there's like artistic symbolism and imagery in like all media not everything is just exactly how it seems on surface level you know the world gets incredibly offended if you make fun of you know buddha or allah or muhammad or any of these other you know supposed prophets or religions but the world celebrates when people antagonize Christianity, when people make fun of it. I feel like that's not true, right? I, I, I think this is a clear example that the country seems to have had a panic attack over a video that has the devil in it. When was the last time you, you saw anything about people freaking out about the Buddha? Okay, I can't watch this guy anymore. I, I, I have to keep going. Hey guys, Colin here. Welcome back to the channel where the Bible and critical thinking meet to give you real Christian commentary about the things that matter. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe and hit the notification bell to join Bro, the Give fight. me a whole chore list before we keep going. I bet you his backdrop, it, it, you could pull it down and he'd have the same exact backdrop as Bold Faith. Hit the notification bell to join the fight for truth. The fight for truth. Now, if you don't know who Lil Nas X is, that's awesome. You're probably better off because of it. Huh? But just so you guys know, he's a 21 year old Sorry, rapper who got famous for the hit song, 
Old Town Road. Recently, the rapper told the media that he was gay, which prompted support what? from a- Wait, he's gay? This is messed up. I feel icky. I gotta go take a shower. And by the way, side note, Christians, when you have a friend who's coming out as gay, you That's should awesome. not be cheering them on at all. Oh, no, sorry. You should not be encouraging them in their sin. Your response should not be positive. <laughs> to Rather, Ew. the Bible says in Isaiah 5, mm -hmm. 20, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Anyways. I think I've had enough. I don't know if I'm doing a song this week, so if I am, just roll, roll the song. I'm a Christian, and I'm ready to forgive. If you rob or swear or kiss, if for marriage I'll forgive. On a mission to spread love with my God's word. Thessalonians, Genesis, Psalms Got all of these books in the base of my palms Stick them together like Elmer's When I'm ready to pray I got a neck for shouting out my holy glorious faith 7 a.m. I'm up and I'm reading The book of Job, yeah his word is what I'm preaching Two earlobes and they're dripping Yeah they're seeping with the love And the lessons that he's gloriously teaching But next thing I know my friend sends me a link huh? I click it open and my stomach starts to sink Yeah, I'm seeing gay dudes dancing Sexually on the brink I'm making Satan splurge heavy with a hump in a wink, I can't lie, yeah, I'm feeling kinda tingly But I shut it down, shake it off, I'll put it simply My book works one way, yeah, there's no excuses If you have sex with a man, then God refuses I'm a Christian, and I'm ready to forgive If you rob or swear or kiss If for marriage, I'll forgive yeah. On a mission to spread love with my God's word yeah. Wounds are blessed the curse But if you're gay, then you're burned Thank you for watching this video. Oh my gosh, you made it to the end. Look at you. You already know what it is. Subscribe. On my last video, 50% of you who watched it weren't subscribed. And that's messed up. I thought I knew you guys better than that, but I guess not, okay? So, patreon.com slash nickisnotgreen if you wanna help support me and what I do. At the end of this video, you get to see all of the people who support me on Patreon. They are the best. Twitch.tv every single night. 9 p.m. Central is when we usually stream. We're always doing something crazy over there. We're always having a good time. Swing by, say hi. Follow the Instagram, follow the Twitter, you know what it is. This week's Gamer of the Week, say it with me. Marina. Thank you, Marina, for your comment on the video. If you want to be the next Gamer of the Week, you just got to hit that little comment section. You got to smack the little, a little comment down there. Bye. And we're back. Third week of the Patreon, 239 active patrons. Let's just jump into it. Thank you to our tier three patrons, Ashley Nguyen, Elizabeth Hopper, Aurora Rose, Techie06, Roman Briot, Just Relax, Melissa Gabbert, Neelam C, David Lee, Michael Looney, Lynx, Leaf, Amy Elizabeth, Lauren Mack, Lola, Sean Marciniak, OG Dropbox, Alexis Ohms, Iza, Marcus Schaller, Captain Max Peter, Bastard Collection, Fiona Airman, Caitlin Davis, Bleep Bloop, Nick Cabrales, Doggy Boy Didn't Deserve the Tap, Average Meme, Courtney, Tofudu, Brittany Chiorando, Buffy Valentine, Luca Leon, 3006, Alexander Chambers, Schleppboy, Elise, Rancid, Ray Loon, Arissa DeFazio, Hunter Bell, Martina, Gila Cat, Screaming Skeletons, Syntac, Faye Uni, Blue Yo, Gosh, I can never say that one. Veronica Univero, Renee Cornell, Maddie Duncan, Mallory Markwart, King Aries, Nicholas Robleski, Brianna, Megan Harvey, Cool Corpses, Alex Kraft, Troy Nordquist, Nikayla, Eat the Riches, Vera, Asha Kamara, Rip Rosie, Laurel, DK, Doom Caddy, Procrastinator, Essence Green, Owen Harry, Tiniest Beans, Jocelyn, Riley, Alana B, Dakota Maker, Yee Doggy, Glenn Van Pastel, Nate Page, Aaron Hust, Bailey Paletta, Emily Meehan, Tyler, Catch My Axe, Chris Hammerberg, Gabby Marie, Smelly Man, Charles Plass, Alt Velma, Lydia Rose, Robin Graves, Will Lynch, 
Angel Ruiz, Laura Lane, Jonathan Chatham, Olivia Grace, Caroline Bradley, Girl from Mars, CL the Rat Connoisseur, Deserves, and Lint. And a big thank you to our Tier 1 and Tier 2 patrons as well. I appreciate all the support. Have a great week. Still